Yes, please. Okay, and Pizza Express. And um, Molly is kindly giving me her olives because she doesn't like them. I'm going to eat all this. Um, we're going to go to Nando's, but I was late and it was too packed, so we're not doing that. But my pizza is huge, and we're going to watch the greatest show. Yeah, so yeah, I just got this cool stuff in my face to try and eat this huge pizza. <laughs> I'm gonna try and um Hi guys, no it's quite dark in my room, but look my hair colour's different. It is purple. I don't know if I like it, it's different. And hey to Joe. Joe's lovely. He bought a box of Krispy Kremes over. Mm. Like he wins. It's his best boyfriend. Apparently. Yeah. We're gonna go watch Star Wars. So we'll tell you how we fall about it when we get back. And I'm probably gonna get McDonald's on the way back to be honest. I'm laughing because Denny's holding up her phone as a torch. <laughs> yeah, it's so dark my room. This is it without. <laughs> With. <laughs> without. See you guys later. <laughs> Donuts before Star Wars. Hi guys, so I thought I'd try to show you better because I just got back from Star Wars. So yeah, it's quite bright. Um, here, like up here, there's more like a pastel y kind of tone which is kind of what I was going for and here's a bit darker but it's still not showing you just how bright it is on cam but it's so so bright but I like it I'm warming up to it so hopefully yeah I don't know I like it and I know it's gonna fade as well anyway probably fade to the kind of shade that I was gonna that I kind of wanted soon but I thought that if it was that shade initially it wouldn't last very long anyway so I'm really happy of how it's turned out sorry about that that's the extractor, it's what happens when you turn the light on in our bathroom. But we just saw Star Wars, so I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to go and get Joe. Oh, I have to stand up. <laughs> oh. I'm making Joe stand up for you guys. Mm, that's comfy. Um, yeah, we just saw Star Wars. Yeah. No spoilers, so we're just going to say that we liked it. We don't know why everyone was so up in arms about it, like against it. No. Because it was good. I gave it, it. it 7.5 out of 10. Uh, what did I give it? I think Nine, I, didn't you? No, 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 we were talking about Interstellar. Oh, okay. Um, I'd probably give it the same. I'd probably give it a 7.5. Yeah, it was good. There was, it, just, it was long, yeah. that's it. It, so, it. it dragged. It felt, it felt long, and um, I can't remember the actress's name, but Ray's performance... I think for Katniss a lot of the, of the first stars. bit... Katniss of the Stars. of the Stars. Yeah, a lot, for a lot <laughs> of the first bit, her performance is quite um, wooden. Yeah. It was, it was just, just bit... like it was like she was reading from a script. It took just a like... long to yeah. It took a while to get into things and people to get passionate about mm. things, but um, it happened. We were a bit annoyed at cinema because they messed up the tickets. Like they changed the screen without telling us. Luckily, I checked beforehand, and then it was half an hour earlier, so we would have missed loads of the film, and nobody was doing much about it. Then they did finally give us new tickets and new seats, and then they gave us off food for free. So that was really cool. We'll move the camera back a little bit. Okay. So yeah, they gave us a feed for free, so that was really cool. But then I feel sorry for other people because the screen changed. Those people were triple booked, double booked. Some people couldn't even see the film. But um, I said them were trying their best to sort it out to make people that people sure people can go in different films and stuff. So yeah, I guess. But we were happy, free food, and a good film. And then we got out, and the bus was right there. So it was like luck. Yeah. Um, like we're packaged now, so they're gonna eat and then go to sleep because it's like twelve o'clock, I think. Well, it's the we'll time. finish up Krispy Kreme stuff. Yeah, it is 11.37. Oh yeah, Krispy Kremes. Okay. Bye guys. Hi, it's been a while. I'm really crap at checking in on the awesome. monthly vlog thing. But it's snowing and it's just really nice. It's snowing again. It snowed already once before Christmas and it was really fun. I might make a little video of it for you guys to show you our snowman. But yeah, it's snowing. And so, it's a cup of tea. Cream eggs, as I don't know if you've heard about it, but we're trying to find a <clears throat> white chocolate cream egg, that's the whole thing. We don't want to win the money, we just want to taste the white chocolate cream egg and crisps. And I'm watching Sleepless in Seattle on TV, but it's on adverts. I'm going to show you the snow. So this is how the snow is at the moment in Joe's garden. It's getting thicker. It's not as thick as it was, um, well, okay, whatever. <laughs> 
um, it's getting a lot thicker now because you can see it settling on the grass but before it was like so thick you made a snowman and it was so fun but today we're just gonna chill inside but um, I'll probably put the pictures in the video together to show you guys because I wanted to share the snow with you but I'm sharing the snow with you a bit now yeah if the snow gets thicker then we will go outside and we will like show you and we'll make a snowman and never think again as Joe's snowman never think last time was really good epic was like with me Joe and Iona yeah I've got no makeup on I'm literally in my pajamas so it's yeah. Sunday <laughs> huh <me> yeah <laughs> so yeah it's a chill Sunday and not sleepless in Seattle I'm out of focus <laughs> oh it's the aperture Aperture. Uh, yeah. Looks like I have no eyebrows. Um, yeah, and Joe's making the small chicken sandwiches Looks and stuff. Looks like he has no eyebrows. Ha! Huh? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really crap at doing this monthly vlog thing, but I'm trying to put. It's because it's January. Like nothing happens in January. That's well, oh, I was even. Nothing happens in January that's worth kind of like vlogging. Literally, all we've done this month is seen so many movies. Sorry, mind you. Oh, is that like a music now? No, it reminds me of Heroes. Heroes? You know... Oh, the sword thing? Uh, I'll, I'll do it on the other one. Okay. Um, this month, all we've done is, we went to here watch Star Wars, which was good. Went to watch Great Showman, which I loved, and listened to the soundtrack over and over. We've just bummed about eight. Like, it's January, it's too cold to do much. Um, I think I'm going out fully next weekend, though. Bam, um, that's perfect. Nice! That's pretty good! <laughs> <laughs> that's actually cool. And um, went out of Ollie and Hannah, and yeah watched film, got pizza at Sprats. It's just been like a food month. I want to see Lisa on Monday because it's a go out treat her for a birthday for a meal. And it's just generally just a month of movies and food and comfort. It's far too cold to do much that's interesting. So I hope you enjoy these kind of chill-ish vlogs. But yeah, I love Sleepless in Seattle. Oh, yeah, and I love the snow. Yeah, so we're watching that. Right, we're going to stuff our face with bacon sandwiches and cream eggs and crisps. And if we do get to go out in the snow, then I will share it with you guys. If not, I'll definitely put together the pictures and um, little clips that I got of us before in the snow and do some kind of voiceover video. I want to meet you. Why is it recording? <laughs> stop. Just press stop in the middle. Stop, I'm trying. I, that's what I did do. Oh, it's because it's wet. It's telling me you can't zoom <laughs> out. He's getting a snowball. Hi guys, I'm going West Falls with Lolly today and then me and Joe are going to go see Coco. It's supposed to be really good, I'm really excited and grab some dinner. So I'm going to do a bit of vlogging, I hope you enjoy it. And I got that jumper I wanted from ASOS, it came back in stock. It keeps coming back in stock, I'll show you guys my outfit now. So yeah, it's really cute. I love the jumper, it's nice, I love the flute sleeves. And I'm getting used to my hair colour now. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this kind of vlog. See you soon. I've already seen something I like, really, which is this top. See, I'm very, very hesitant to wear horizontal stripes. But when they're colourful, it's like, like this one's fine, yeah, but I got one that was lovely. brighter and it wasn't as nice. Mm. So, when you look. This striped t-shirt is a yes, it's $9.99 and I love the colours. It's like just a nice stripe, it's pink and orange, it's really pretty, it'll be really nice for the spring. So yeah, I really like this strip. I'm gonna get it, it's only $9.99 so. Yeah, it's a Pretty. I like the sleeves better. I don't think I'm a fan of it's kind of see-through here. Like it's see-through with this part which you don't want because it's a scuba material. And it looks really stretched and I know sizing up would be a bit too big. But other than that it would be nice but I think I'll leave this. 
but it is pretty, I don't know, but it just looks so stretched, I think. Um, this top's really nice, but I feel like I look a bit frumpy in it, I don't know, like, on the arm area, I don't know. Mm. This is a really cute detail though, and it's like eight and nine. I'm not sure. So far, it's only one item, which is this top. This is like my no pile, and then I've got one thing left to try on. I think I'm going to go to other shops and stuff and try more on, so I might go to Sarah and see what I've got as well. And this is the skirt. I know I look like uh, 50 shades of brown right now <laughs> for this outfit, but um, I don't like what it's doing to my butt. Oh, I don't think it's very flattering. It's like not flattering here at all. Other than that, it fits nice, but and also the pockets don't really go very deep. So literally, I'm only having one item, which is this baby. It's a Nicki Minaj jumper. It's like got clouds on it. It's so comfy. It's huge and it's pink. It's really nice. Lolly found it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get. Hi guys, so I'm back to festivals with Lolly. I felt so nice and bright and colourful today. It's dark because it is, gets dark at four o'clock. It just does that. <laughs> So I thought I would show you some of the things that I've got today at Vessels with Lolly. I can't wait, Joe's coming over in like 20 minutes so I need to hurry and we're going to go watch Coco, I'm so excited. Shelly said that I will cry, I most probably we're both going to cry because me and Joe are criers so I'm excited and then we're going to get dinner so then we'll dry our tears and food. Right, I'm going to show you, I already showed you most stuff in shop, I hope you enjoyed me trying on the clothes in the changing room, hopefully the footage is okay, I haven't looked at it so hopefully that's good. Um, I just thought it'd be fun to do so you can kind of see my process. So, um, I did end up buying the top, like I said I bought the strappy one which was, I got it from $8.99 from New Look which was really cute, I like this. And then, I also bought, like I'm not a huge Mickey Minaj fan but I'm not, not a fan, like I just, she's, I like her music sometimes but I don't, I'm not saying I'm an avid fan. But I did buy this jumper for my collection. This one, like it's, I think you saw me, saw me put it on at H&M so I'm not going to try it on again. It's got the clouds, it's got Japanese writing on the sleeves. It went down from £30 to £9. Her whole collection's on sale. So that's amazing. I'm really happy with this. It's like a jumper dress on me. I got it in a small and it comes down like to like here on me and it's so comfy. So for colder days, even though it's Jan. The cold days will be great because it's Feb, so we still very much have another month of winter. It's very real here in the UK. Um, I got um, so H and M's got a crazy sale on jewellery, and it's two for it's three for two. So I got this whole set of jokers for these are two pound. So I got three sets of these for four pound. That's amazing. So I've got this set. I love that one, the middle one with the round kind of silver hoop. So cute. And then I got. Um, this one as I really wanted a plain black choker so I could put the fox necklace that she, um, Hannah made for me on it because I thought it would look really cute on the choker so I'm so excited to do that and then show her and then I got another one. Oh yeah then I got this necklace as well from H&M so all that was £4 amazing then I got some sunglasses that weren't on sale my arm is killing me um, these ones these pink ones so yeah, I think they're really cute. I don't know if you can see because glare. So I think they're really nice. And they're pink and they're really cute. And they're nice. I got them from H&M, I think they're like 6 99 So they're really nice. These ones are £3 from Primark and they have them in loads of colours. Those ones are gold and these ones kind of have... Those ones were gold and pink but these ones are just purple all over. Lolly said she likes these ones more because they match my hair more, which is true. So yeah, I really like them. Yeah, they're so cute. I love them. Um, but yeah, I really wanted the pair of colourful glasses for ages. And um, pink, because I think my hair might be pink soon. Like summery time, hopefully. So yeah, purple for now. But then I can mix and match. Pink and purple go together. I think I actually prefer the pink. I don't know. And then, next, I got from... Um, so basically, I really wanted this next palette that... My friend Maddie has at work, which is really nice, it's Earth Colours, but it's £25, I didn't know that. And I couldn't really spend that money going in because I got some bras from Marks and Spencers, which are much needed, but they are expensive. That was almost 40 quid for three bras. 
but it's so worth it because they're amazing bras so I couldn't really like splash out on that so I got um for makeup evolution I went there to go get that dupe um concealer but obviously like it was all gone all I had was dark colours and light colours and it was all gone in my shade so I got F I got this one uh which they have like in mix but it's slightly different but it's similar but different so it's got, it's Cap Amatoris, so it's kind of the earth colours, but it is different to the next one, but this was only £6 and that was 25 And I got this other eyeshadow palette, which is £4, which has the colours that I kind of wanted in the next one that that palette's missing, so I got them both for £10. So it's kind of like, it was worth it, I kind of got all the colours that I wanted, and if it's not very good, then I will get the next one, and I'll just have loads of colours, so I'm happy about that. And then I got... Where is it? Not sure if I'll wear this. Don't know if I just got this because it was £2. Maybe. But I got this Nicki Minaj um, choker as well. The pink one. And I think it's cute. I don't know if I'll wear it. Let's see. Hopefully. And then I got these kind of... Since I want to get more into eyeshadow, I suck at it. But I want to get more into it. I would love to get more into it. I got this palette. This, sorry, palette. Ugh. These brushes. They went down £7 for these brushes. I've got two Colourpop brushes that I got when I ordered from America. And I ordered Colourpop stuff. But this is like angled. This looks like I could do stuff with it. I don't know if it's just a sales technique. But let's see. Hopefully the brushes come in handy. And then I got... Um... Ooh. I got some face masks from H&M, ones that I've never tried before, they come like this. I got a witch hazel one, and I got a charcoal one. So I got one each for me and Joe, so we can do face masks together tonight, yeah. Because I'm breaking out a lot, and I'm not sure cause I'm, if it's because I'm wearing hats a lot. So I've switched back to berets, because it was, for a while, it was too windy and wet for berets. But now it's like, okay. So, but, and berets aren't resting on my forehead like my beanie was so I feel like because of that I've broken out in this area which um makes me sad so I'm gonna I've tried to ease up on really hats and go out to berets so I'm like I bought some face masks to try like cleanse my pores a bit and I'm trying to eat better etc okay um now it doesn't get to this point where I'm just going to talk to you about random stuff so I'm gonna go and I'll see you guys probably after Coco I will like Joe will say hey when he gets here but we'll let you know after Coco and after dinner what we thought about Coco and stuff so that'll be exciting so yeah hi guys mm. <laughs> so yay <laughs> oh no you're, you're oh no what it. happened I'll show you she threw your laptop on top of it I didn't throw my laptop on top of it okay so we got Dead. some Kesby creams and right. my little heart it's a special Valentine's one yeah. and yes the looks a bit of dead yeah, because we humans have a Valentine's edition and it's got jam in it. So we got these 12, 12 pack. Mm -hmm. And then it got, it came with um, a free 12 original glaze, which is awesome and they're yummy. Oh yeah, and it's a new sofa spread. Do you like it? It's nice. It's a nice blue. Um, so yeah, we went on that offer and I can't wait to have my apple pie one later with like dessert or something. And... Yeah, we put bacon in our glazed ones. Yeah. Yeah, we tried it like American style. Yeah, because I'm sure it's an American thing that they do. Sorry about the light, it's getting dark. And we just wanted to quickly wrap up Coco because we forgot after mm. the cinema to say, is it good? A bit of that. Yeah, a bit of strawberry. Oh my god, that's so yum. I'm saving that for second to last. Um, yeah, we went to see Coco the other week, but we forgot to wrap it up. So, how was Coco, Joe, for you? Yeah? I'm sad. Yeah, we both cried. <laughs> okay. and, well, it's happy sad. Yeah, Shelley said we'd both cry, and we did both cry. Mm -hmm. As we do at most mildly sad films. Yeah, that's true. And Pixar. Pixar always makes me cry. Even at Logan. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, that was so sad. I said even at Logan, but yeah, that was pretty sad. Yeah, Logan was sad. What's so, that last night? I really liked it. I was like, oh, because I wanted to watch The Great Showman with him because I love musicals and we'd watched loads of action films recently, which I loved. Like, we watched Kingsman 1, Kingsman 2, mm -hmm. um, and we watched The Foreigner. So I wanted to watch something yeah, a bit more good. girly, but we couldn't, shh, we couldn't find a, a version of show, uh, <laughs> to watch. Anyway, we watched Logan, saw Hugh Jackman. Huh? Huh? We watched Logan. Yeah. 
was yeah. good yeah so yeah Coco was really good we liked it it was cool I thought the advert ruined it but it didn't ruin it there was so much more to it it was cool it was about day of the dead it was really sad um like it was really like family orientated um yeah yeah I really liked that it's kind of like realistic to like sometimes family members might not be like so cool about your dreams or something but um yeah spoilers um anyway <laughs> um <laughs> that's not spoilers no, that's I guess... like first like five minutes true true but um yeah we just thought it was a really good film that's all we really wanted to say really was to wrap up the vlog because i forgot and i didn't and i was supposed to vlog yesterday but it was raining and horrible so i didn't so yeah um we'll see you for february vlog because there's a lot more going on in february this has been a, such a chill january vlog we've just gone to watch loads of films and mm. eaten and yeah. chilled that's all we've done so but going on, Mom. No. yeah but it's our friend's birthday and we're going to watch black panther with uni fans and stuff and it should be more of a fun month so stay <laughs> tuned and i hope you like this chill january vlog bye Aww.